Hi everybody, um, I want to apologize for being so long since I got back to you about um, the rest of my day in Canton, Ohio. Um, life is a little crazy, I had some slight Twitter drama, I guess, I don't know, but um, anyway, that's not about 50 states, 5 years, so we're going to get to the point. Um, I learned my lesson with my Richmond video, and it will not be 20 minutes long. Um, as far as the William McKinley Monument and Memorial Library, um, it took me like 45 minutes to walk there from the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which normally would not be a big deal. But as the Pro Football Hall of Fame did not have food, I was hungry, and it was cold, but I mean, what do I expect in Ohio in February, really? Um, anyway, so I finally got there. And it is the actual, like, tomb where President McKinley and his wife are buried or encapsulated is up this, like, mountain of stairs. And I have to let you know, I was not going to walk up those stairs. Like, it just wasn't going to happen. So, I mean, I've done the stairs at the Lincoln Memorial, like, run up those. I... I clearly walked 45 minutes to get there. I have no problem with the physical aspect, but those things were not a game. And there were even little kids like, oh, man, I can't get that high up. So, and it, it didn't really matter because the doors were closed. It was like 20 some degrees, so um, I don't think that they would have exposed the coffins and the bodies to that sort of element anyway. Um, but inside the library and memorial, it's off to the left, um, and it's an older building. It looks like it was built in the 60s, maybe 70s, um, and it's a lot less grandiose than I thought it would be. Like, when I think of presidential libraries, I think of these, like, big, massive places with, like, infinite knowledge, but it was, I mean, it wasn't bad, though, I don't. That's not a slight to them, but it just wasn't what I would, thought it would be. But um, anyway, uh, it was $8 to get in, and on the lower level, there was a gift shop and, like, dinosaurs, which I'm guessing they put them there as, like, the local natural history aspect for kids or something. I don't know, but um, I wasn't interested in dinosaurs, so I didn't go down there and look. It was, like, a little kid central, and... <laughs> From previous posts, we know I'm not exactly the one to be around dozens of small children. But um, on the upper level, it was like a American history lesson focused on that region of Northeastern Ohio, which I thought was really cool. And I liked that it covered a wide range of history. I mean, there was military history, there was media history, there was a business history a whole lot of things in a really small space um they had an exhibit for a guy who makes doll houses on my facebook page you'll see some pictures of those doll houses um i was a little put off because at first i was like okay is any of this gonna be about william mckinley and then you get to this room where there's like these weird looking mannequins and there that's president mckinley and his wife with like possessions of theirs it's like a big room but it's like decorated to look like three or four different rooms and i'm in there and i'm looking at the displays on the wall in back of me um particularly i was looking at mckinley's masonic possessions and all of a sudden the weird statue things start moving and talking and it freaked me out like i was absolutely not ready for that so I think I got a video of them talking. Um, I'll upload that. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to do that, so I only took a short video. But um, not only that, but my phone was dying, and for whatever reason, whenever I'm out, my phone just doesn't like to charge. It just likes to be cute. Who knows? I don't know. But um, that was the real focus on William McKinley. Then once you get out of there, you kind of walk through this like downtown from a hundred or hundred and fifty years ago, or you know, whatever it was, and I thought that was really interesting, they had uh, like an old fashioned dentist office and a general store that you can go into, and there were a few more talking mannequins, but none were near as creepy looking as 
President McKinley and his wife. Um, I think maybe when they first were put in, they were really awesome. But now they just look kind of weird. But I love that they're there. Go ahead, weird, freaky mannequins. Um, that's it as far as my travels go. Um, I will be headed to Illinois in a few weeks, so that'll be a new entry. Um, and the rest of the year is still up for grabs. I keep making plans, and then life happens and things change. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for reading. Thank you for following me on Twitter. Thank you for liking my Facebook post. Um, thank you for supporting me on my journey. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks.